Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey. Before we get started with this episode, I want to show you guys, I picked up a Musketeer on Moscow. Random drop, just picked it up. I thought it was kind of cool, so I just want to show you guys that before we get started. So, let's head on over to our featured presentation for today. It's the kind of beat the gold. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today we're going to be checking out episode number 13 of our Survivors Let's Play Beginners Let's Play series, and I'm pretty excited to get after it. It's been a while since we actually uh, were on this, so I'm pretty excited to be back. We are on Moscow today. So right now I've gone through a pretty solid amount of levels just so I can get a really good feel for it and understand what we need to do to and bring along to complete it successfully and help y'all out if to get past it if you need help with it, of course. So right now we're on day 10, so it's going to be pretty similar to the prior days, of course, not going to be too much more difficult. So uh, let's go ahead and read this little thing. Rumor is that the researcher has even found a way of lowering zombie damage or armor. So that's actually really nifty. We're going to get a researcher once we're done with this. I'm pretty excited about that. But here's the team I've actually been running with trying to complete this level. So I've got a Lumberjack, Fire Chief, Scattershot, uh, Destructor, a Combat Medic, Machine Gunner, Sniper, and then my uh, Borrowed Unit kind of varies every now and then. But it's a very, very good loadout because it helps in a lot of different areas. Now, you're going to want at least one Sniper no matter what because there are a lot of Titans on this level. And if you don't have a Sniper to take them out, it's going to be pretty difficult to get past them, I'm not going to lie. So... Definitely make sure you have one sniper, and it's always kind of helpful to bring along another one if you can borrow it, if that's what you're feeling, of course. So yeah, definitely bring along one sniper. These melee units and the combat medic, any type of medic, your preference. I really like this combat medic here. Definitely bring one of those along, because it's going to be really helpful to keep them alive, keep them high health, take out a lot of those drones for you, since we're going a lot less on the firepower, like scatter shots, gunfighters, and things like that. I only have one of those, and so a healer, like the medic, will be really, really helpful in those situations. So, uh, yeah, I also love the machine gunner just because machine guns are pretty awesome in general. And then destructor. So let's go ahead and get into the first attack here, and then we'll kind of get a closer look. So I did end up bringing over that. I think it was an Overwatch. Uh, I think that's what it was. But, yeah, we're, let's go ahead and get into this and see what we got here, guys. So here we go. First round, uh, pretty solid loadout. So we're going to have some delivery men. Those are a pain in the butt. They're annoying, but... <laughs> He's got to deal with them. So here we go. First wave is going to be right over here by these guys over here. Now, you really want to utilize this pad of five, but it's pretty, it's not really in a good position to use right here for this uh, example here. So we're not going to be worrying about that one too much. Now, I'm actually going to focus in a large group just right over here. They're going to focus in on this wall. I'm going to put a machine gunner. And let me go ahead and put my favorite lumberjack medic combo right over here. And they're going to focus in over on those zombies coming through that wall. Now, I'm going to actually also have to kind of peek over here and see what's going on on this flip side right now. So I'm actually going to put a sniper in each of these pads. Now, I'm going to be honest, they're probably going to go down. But just because these walls, these walled in areas are kind of tough, such tough little spots. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys over and in a little bit to kind of help out in that area now i'm also going to throw in let's see where do i want to put my destructor and things like that so i'm going to put destructor in this wall here because i just like that position a little bit better and i'm going to throw down my scatter shot there now i do have one firefighter i'm going to throw that in when need be because sometimes those delivery men are going to take out our guys so let me go ahead and launch this first wave here let's see where they're going to start heading so it looks like they're heading over towards this left area here first delivery man takes out that group no problem not too big of a problem here now i can't really put down that firefighter fire chief just about yet here but our goal is to take out these titans as best we can we got some scientists back here just chilling scatter shots uh, just going about going down no problems there dogs barking what are you gonna do so i got a firefighter just hot chilling in there <clears throat> now first wave is coming out right here now the main thing that you're gonna want this machine gunner is really key in these situations i'm not gonna lie guys uh they've done the most good for me so i'm gonna go and flare back now let's see what's going on over here oh dang come on Minor inconvenience. Some guys got through. That usually won't happen. Honestly, it's not. Uh, looks like we're handling those Titans fairly well. These guys are going down very easily. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another Titan. Two of my snipers, not Titans. What am I saying? So the structure's handling all of them pretty darn well. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw down a Lumberjack and a Medic in this area. So that's going to really focus in on this area. Let me go ahead. Oh, come on. My rally point placement's really off right now. What am I doing? Okay, let's go ahead and throw those guys in. Let's throw ahead another fire chief here. 
to go and help defend our people. I'm gonna go and flare away, and I'm gonna go ahead and send this one wave down there and throw in my Molotov cocktail. Where I don't want to throw it, right there. Just gotta go ahead and delay a little bit, a bit of these guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw down one more machine gunner there. Send this wave. I don't know why my machine gunner went up there. Just go away. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, bro. But it's okay. So down goes another one but our guys are still holding on strong that's why it's really important to bring along a couple melee units some strong ones of course to help out in taking out these guys because that's really going to be the difference here because it's going to allow those snipers to take out these big annoying titans and looks like we're going i just wasn't even paying attention over there let me go ahead and see if i can reboot a little bit let's go ahead and throw down you know what this is what i'm going to do i'm going to move this pad over throw down my two snipers let them go ahead and take out those guys it's no big deal here these snipers are going to be able to pick off those titans right when they come around this corner. And I've got a huge pad of firepower just waiting for the rest of them. Looks like this lumberjack is kind of going to town over here. Not too shabby. All right, so he is just holding down the fort over there. All right. I mean, I see you, bro. All right, he's just about to go down. Let's go speed this up. So as you can see, sniper is going to pick him off. One, two, three, bop, dropped. 277. We are over the trophy limit. So, yeah. Um... I found this is a pretty difficult map, honestly, to strategize with just because the pads are pretty funnily arranged. But I re really think it's important to place that machine gunner very well. Important to uh, place them in the right spot, of course. And bring along some really strong melee units because that's going to help a lot in taking damage from those delivery men and, taking and holding down those titans. So let's go ahead and continue here. So let's go ahead and fight to another round here. Get some more coins on this one. Fight. Let me go ahead and borrow... I'm going to bring along another machine gunner. I think that's a pretty solid pickup. Let's go ahead and fight here. Of course, got to get rid of some units. Let's go ahead and drop some of these field medics. I don't know why I have so many of them. All right. And drop a couple more handymen just in case. And let's go ahead and fight here. Boom. Boom, bada, boom. Our great motherland. Arasha. Alrighty then guys, so let's see. Um where's that five pad? Okay, this pad's a little bit it's eh, it's a little bit better than it was last time. So I honestly don't like these these middle sections right here, I don't like them at all. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't like them at all. I think they are just kind of a death trap and it's pretty much game over if you get in the middle of them. So for this area here, let me go ahead and throw in, I'm going to throw my trusty combo, Lumberjack Combat Medic, and I'm going to throw in this level 16 machine gunner along with that sniper. I just got a perk for a 25% less cooldown, so, or, yeah. So, I'm pretty excited about that perk. It's going to help get me a lot more snipers on the board a lot quicker. Um, let's go ahead and leave it at that. Now, this area over here where the first pad is going to be launched, let me go ahead and throw this guy down there. I'm going to throw down my Fire Chief machine gunner, and... I'm going to throw down my scatter shot. I'm going to save destructor for now, just in case. I'm going to start these waves. First wave just coming down the pipeline here. Machine gunner, hopefully we'll be able to kind of spot some of those guys. Hopefully, it'd be nice. Eh. Okay, drew them away. Destructor's going down now. So machine gunner is loading up here, defending this objective. It's going to be a lot easier with that machine gunner in place. Hopefully, none of these... Ah, get away, drones. Oy vey. See, I don't like this. These little spots, they're too tight for me. Oh, get away. See, I don't like these. That first one spawn point you got to deal with is awful, but the rest of them are fairly easy to deal with. So let me go ahead and kind of clear out the rest of these drones here. I'm going to throw down a scatter shot box here, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of leave it at that. I'm going to go. So as you can see over here, these guys really hold it down. This is a great setup here. The lumberjack combat medic and the sniper. So let me go ahead and throw down another sniper to help with those titans and the lumberjack and the combat medic will hold down the rest of those drones. So really once you get rid of those titans, it's just a lot of drones you got to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can move these guys over here. Let's go ahead and heal them up. Let's get the combat medic rolling. I don't think we're going to be running into too many more um, of those waves on that side. So let's just go ahead and focus in on this area. So it looks like our lumberjack's going down, but we got another one. Just kind of throw him back in there, and we're gonna get another combat medic medic in as soon as possible. But I honestly don't know if we're gonna be able to. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw down that guy right there. Throw in a scatter shot. Stim up my guys up front. Flare him back just momentarily. I'm gonna go ahead and send these waves. I'm feeling pretty good about it. it looks like we're gonna get really really hammered on that side. Should have thrown down my Molotov cocktail on that end, but. It's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world here. Now, this is going to be crunch time, guys. Let me go ahead and throw down a machine gunner just in this corner to help kind of get rid of some of these guys, just at least a few of them. 
throw in another fire chief up front to take a little bit more damage from a ton of these drones a machine gunner just going to town got a machine gunner on that flank as well going to town got another one loading up here uh fire chief got to hold on come on man you can do it so we're about to get that second machine gunner all rolled up holding down the fort pretty well i'm not gonna lie just got a couple drones to deal with and then we'll be pretty darn good on the rest of this guys so drones closely going down it's got a couple more uh, come on can't tell there we go so 337 trophies much better than our last one not gonna lie guys honestly the first pad is always the worst always the worst but you end up getting past it let's go ahead and continue to get one more attack in and then we will call it a day and that's going to be our walkthrough for the survivors so moscow's get one more attack in here and then we will be at the finale which is just going to be a pretty much another round and we're going to get that researcher so guys um let me go ahead and cut it here really quick and we'll come back to that finale see you in a second guys all right guys so we're back we're just going to go ahead and finish it off on this round here this is going to be our final round here for the episode now we're got a pretty solidly placed five unit pad i love these pads the most you guys already know that from earlier but let me go ahead and throw down this one uh machine gunner right there throw down my sniper to help out with the titans and then i'm gonna throw down my trusty lumberjack combat medic combo so loving that combo let me go ahead and move these guys up just a tad here move in that researcher just a bit now let's go ahead and see where our first pad is going to be it's going to be right here with just a couple titans now we got a sniper way down there who's going to help out take out all those titans for us and we're going to throw down destructor a fire chief and a scatter shot so that's going to be our first preliminary guys who's going to work on that wave there let me go ahead and start the waves here start reloading regenerating all of our units here and this pad's going to be a tricky one now here's the here's the deal i'm going to go ahead and put down this fire chief here and move him in over towards these walls i want to take out these walls because that way we're going to have these two pads open we'll be able to shift them over and then we'll be able to place more units to help defend that one objective so let me go ahead and speed that up i'm going to leave that there go back <laughs> stim these guys up really quick to help out right there looks like that delivery man's going to try to take out our timber beast he goes down no big deal it's not going to be the end of the world now let me go ahead and throw down another guy here so move them in flare them back really quick and I'm going to start throwing down a ton of units here to help defend this objective because it's really key in our survival, you could say. So I'm going to shift this one over just a bit, throw in a sniper. Come on, shift over for me. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and move this pad just in a little bit because I want to get... Ooh, this is getting a little, a little, a little sticky sticky situation here so we're doing pretty well so far i'm gonna go ahead and throw down a fire chief up front here to help out up front and throw down a second combat medic because that fire chief's just really gonna hold down the fort for me right over here where all these drones are he's just not gonna go down let the machine gunner deal with all those drones and the sniper deal with the titans now i'm gonna go flare these this wave back really quick because they're going down pretty fast let's go ahead and throw you down lumberjack here fire chief there ah, these guys just barely clipped that objective which is kind of annoying but that's just kind of my error, kind of focusing on the video. But it's all good, guys. We are not going to worry about that one too much just because we're just going to keep on cruising. Let me go ahead and throw down another fire chief and a scatter shot up front here to help deal with all these guys. We got a machine gunner helping out on that left side and a couple drones, two titans, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another sniper to help out take out the rest of these titans. Stim up these guys up front, these melee units. And we're just about golden here. Looks like we just got to focus on the last couple drones and we clear with 293 trophies. So, guys, this is a very difficult city. I'm not going to lie. It's a tough city to deal with, but I believe you guys can get through it. No problem. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Show the rewards. But yeah, guys, it's a really fun, interesting, strategic uh, city. You can guys can try out whatever you want, but that's the team that worked for me the best. Really, f I found that those five pad units are really important. You're going to have to really get some quick placements going in there with the melee units and everything like that but it's definitely you're going to get rewarded in the end but guys uh thank you so much for watching as always i really do hope you enjoyed this episode i hope it was helpful if you enjoyed it make sure and drop a like if you want to comment go for it if you have any more questions i'm i'd be happy to answer them for you and if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for guys come on join the nation but guys thank you so much as always and i will see you guys in the next episode see you guys